for those of us who are lucky enough to have assumed leadership positions, I kind of liken the whole experience to a T, a T. You have to have a grounded, vertical part of the T, which is excellence in your own discipline. That gives you legitimacy, that gives you the authority to, to speak and to be a person of some note. My field for that is medical science. Now, once that's established, you can actually broaden your palette. You can broaden your outlook. That's the horizontal part of the T. Look sideways, try to address the bigger issues of the nation with that confidence that you get from having been an established leader in your own field. The real challenge and the real joy of the Global Foundation is its capacity to elicit debate under Chatham House rules where in point of fact people of substance, leaders in various fields, can come together, can share views, can do so unafraid and without uh, having to hide things back. Now for me that's been a great joy for the Global Foundation, in particular the wonderful people that you meet, because it really is a privilege to be asked to join in those discussions. The single biggest contribution that the Global Foundation can make, I believe, is to create both a climate and the appropriate fora where huge issues of the day can be addressed without political spin and in a true bipartisan manner. I'm thinking of things such as climate change, such as genetically modified foods, such as nuclear energy, such as even in my field uh, immunisation policies and what to do about anti-vaccine activists. Big issues, they've got a political component, but they need to be addressed without spin. And in the fora of the Global Foundation, we may not be able to get consensus, but we can at least get ventilation of those issues and sometimes have people meet from opposite sides of the political fence and shake hands and say, well, perhaps on this one we'd better go forward together.